Father of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to offer requiem mass of our brother Louis Orr, let us in a moment's silence call to mind our sins, acknowledging that one day it will be our own requiem mass. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You give light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, give, we pray, to your servant, Patrick Joseph Aloysius, for whom today we perform the fraternal offices of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. I invite our first reader and second reader to come forward and lead us in the word of God. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil, covering all the peoples, and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away the people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we have hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord.
From the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge Him, it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that, w- that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He really is. The Word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. It is sad to gather in the church to say farewell to a parishioner. The irony of death is that it takes a person away. The beauty of it is that it gets everyone else together. We come to requiems, to wakes, to burials. Even in times of pandemic, we make the effort to go and we broadcast so that those who cannot attend or are too far away can still join us online in prayer, in sacrament. This morning's requiem for Louis Orr completes 
90 and a half years of upright living in this world if all of us have the kind of good record that he has when we depart this world we will be well prepared to meet the Lord Jesus he says in the gospel there are many rooms in my father's house I am going now to prepare a place for you he tells the disciples and says that the way to get there is to stay with him because he, he is the way the truth and the life therefore at the end of a life we always gather in the house of the Lord and in this case the house of Our Lady also to say farewell, to pay tribute also to pray for a soul because it's important to get the holy souls the deceased, not just from this life to the cemetery but from the cemetery to heaven and there's a little transition we call purgatory which the catechism teaches is a purifying of our, our life's sins so be they many or be they few we, we owe it to the dead to pray for them principally by the mass requiem also the month's mind anniversaries and visits to the grave this is our duty to the dead they did it for their dead when they walked in this world and the tradition carries on this good man Louis Orr was born in 1937th of May in Rose Cottage Upper Dublin Street that building is not there today it was a lovely one storied building with roses adorning it and a lovely gate and pillars there's now a two storey or building on the same site but Rose Cottage is the, is the address of it in, in our, our register and there many rosaries were said the rosary is if you like a, a chain of roses to Our Lady because the, the Orr family always had the faith it came down the generations as far back as the Orrs go you'll find prayer you'll find rosary Our Lord, Our Lady and he was baptised within three days out in Glenock the 10th of May 1930 Patrick Joseph Aloysius he is well named three substantial saints and from Aloysius it's written in the 1930 register up in brackets above Aloysius Louis <laughs> to explain that that's what he was known as he must have been known as that from very early on when it's in the 1930 baptismal register and he made his confirmation 10 years later on the 28th of April 1940 it was Father Andrew Campbell who baptised him and it was Father John McGowan who prepared him for confirmation and it is his 50th anniversary of death today Father McGowan the more senior members of the congregation will remember Father McGowan you needn't put up your hand to declare <laughs> but he was here for 30 years and he saw many children through baptism confirmation and through school on this spot the public elementary school Newton Stewart where Louis and all his contemporaries and many before him since 1869 until 1969 when the St Patrick's opened and then a couple of years later the little ones who stayed on this site went up above but that was after Louis's time so here he got his education and when he finished school he didn't go very far for his next education because at the top of Dublin Street just to the left of the Church of Ireland is that would be the bottom of Dublin Street the top of Main Street it was a saddler's a horse saddle making workshop and there he trained I don't know for how many years but he could make saddles and carry that skill on for years and within your family I, I believe he sewed all sorts of things for you because he had the skill in his hands and the equipment in, in his workshop but that was a dying trade that was a big concern in the 1930s, 40s and so on but by the 1950s uh, automobiles, tractors lorries and so on were coming on the road and the horses were staying more and more in the fields and 
in the stables. So he didn't need to be a saddler for very long. He got more involved then with threshing with his father and the extended family and this 1956 tractor that they got for 650 pounds. The oars must have been very wealthy <laughs> to have bought a tractor at that cost. But there, there you have it. And he threshed with his, his, his father and I understand his uncle Sonny and many others and went around the countryside doing that. And then at home looking after hens and home vegetables and all the many things that industrious folk like the oars and their neighbours uh, undertook in those days and many still do. But his principal employment became uh, haulage, lorries. His, his uncle Sonny taught him to drive. I don't think there were many lessons in those days. You had to just get on with it. But a speedy learner was Louis, a very talented man, very careful man, you see, in everything he would do. So his uncle Sonny would have had no reservations about letting him behind the wheel of a, of a big, a big m machine. And uh, th that he spent the most of his, his life then doing and passed that down the generations then to other members of, of the family. So that was the, the 1950s onwards. He had many pastimes. Also the GAA played. There were great photographs down in the clubhouse of, of the teams of the 1950s. Not just Louis, but his, his brothers, the, the Oars, several of them uh, on the team. And playing the flute then in the St. Eugene's flute band. Uh, they won three all Ireland's. I think Louis was too young to be in the first competition, but he was in the next two, and uh, they, they won the All Ireland. So, a very talented musician by all accounts, also, and could play the accordion for you two in your own home and maybe further, further af afield. I, I think of the theme of uh, triumph over adversity for Louis, or and there are many examples of it where he came up against uh, an obstacle but found a good outcome in it. And uh, one of the, the most uh, impressive is uh, the time that he cut the tip of his index finger on his left hand threshing. Now, that was a terrible uh, incident and it must have bled profusely, but off he went to uh, Tyrone County Hospital to Oma and got uh, this well and truly stitched up. Uh, you could still see even in his coffin the, the, the missing piece. <laughs> It was angled rather than circular. But he turned this to his advantage because in those days they kept you in hospital even for what would be today considered a, a small enough uh, post-operation recovery. But uh, it was to his advantage because he was in Ward 5 and he was being looked after by, uh, he discovered, a very impressive nurse indeed. And uh, before he was discharged a day or two later, uh, Louis had requested a follow-up meeting <laughs> with the nurse. <laughs> it was more romantic than medical. <laughs> and uh, that turned out to be Nurse Roisin Catherine McQuaid from Trillick, who in Matarillach, St. McCartan's Church, Trillick, he married on the 22nd of July, 1958. I, I call this triumph over adversity because he turned his injury into romance <laughs> and marriage. <laughs> Who would think of it? But Louis was a practical, resourceful man. But you must think also from the nurse's perspective, she realised that she had before her a gentleman. You can tell when somebody's in difficulty the kind of person that is. So he was a gentleman. So even in his suffering in his hospital bed, he was patient. He was persevering. He wasn't cross. He, he was a good man and the nurse recognised it. So it was a mutual recognition of goodness and they married in 1958. And out of that then came how many? Two sons and four daughters, 16, seven, 18 grandchildren and seven great grandchildren, uh, Killian, baby Killian, born just last week. And I understand that'll soon be eight great-grandchildren, another one on the way before the year is out, will have a baptism, please God. So you see how the fruits of his labour continue and carry on and bear, bear enormous harvest. He worked on the land, that was a, a harvest, but Louis's harvest was also deeply spiritual and familial. He prayed in his home every day, 
every day of his life, he prayed. And you see the, the courtesy, the serenity, the chivalry, the mannerliness that you saw in him and I saw, that didn't come from nowhere. Where does that come from? That's from God. So the godly person will have courtesy, chivalry, inner beauty, goodness. Louis knew where it came from. His people taught him, and then he taught you. So the beautiful qualities that you have as children, grandchildren, extended family, that's Louis or that's Roshin or me, McQuaid. It's passing on in you. But I say it's very uplifting to praise the virtues of a person. It is a greater tribute to the person to imitate that person. So if you want to have what Louis had, if you want to keep these virtues, live the way he lived, pray the way he prayed, come to Mass as he did. He never missed a Sunday Mass or a Holy Day Mass when he was well enough to do so. He joined the First Friday list in very recent years, but he was already well and truly an octogenarian, not far off 90 before he joined the list. So Louis was a Mass going man. A dear family of oars and extended, come to Mass. Come next Saturday night or Sunday. I will be reading his name out here as someone who left us during the week. But come every Sunday, not just to hear his name. Come to honour him, to pay tribute to him, to, imi <coughs> to imitate him. Because he is worthy of imitation, as I say, <coughs> wearing the, the white vestments at his funeral. My last visit to him was a, a few weeks ago, and I would have been in with him this, this Friday. Uh, that was not to be. Uh, on that visit, he, he was uh, very alert, frail, slowing, but uh, holy, <laughs> always holy. Confession, holy communion, blessing. Thank you very much, Father. Gratitude. All the things you would want to see in, in a, a man on the first Friday visit, Louis or had and lived. So you see, this was his formula of almost 91 years of, of prayer. You've described him as a, a, the go-to person in the family, the, the kind, patient father, grandfather. If you needed advice, you could go to Louis. If you needed a listening ear, he was there. If you wanted to borrow a car, <laughs> his was there. <laughs> Generosity. This was the first year he didn't renew his insurance policy on the car. He must have had a sense that time was moving on and he would not be driving any more lorries, cars or anything. He paid his last visit to Glenock Graveyard just days ago, about a week ago. Another little sign that the end was drawing in, although he didn't exactly put it that way. He had many bereavements. His wife, Roshin, 2008. His brother, Jim. His brother, Bertie. His son, George. His son-in-law, Sean Arnold. He had many graves to visit in Glenock. And you have photographs of him, seated in prayer, standing in pensive mood, a good visitor to the cemetery. He knew what he was there for. Within his own mind and heart, he knew he would soon be there. He knew not the day or the hour. None of us do. But there are many lovely memories that he has given you down the years. There are many rooms in my father's house. Today's gospel says, John chapter 14. Many rooms in my father's house. May the Lord grant Louis a place in the Father's house. He who came to the Lord's house all his days in this world and made his own house a home of prayer, of faith, hope and love. And on the liturgical feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, in the oratory of Mary, Mother of God, we ask her intercession for Louis that his good, kind and gentle soul will be rewarded. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
our Lady Queen of Peace. Saint Patrick, Saint Joseph, Saint Aloysius, Saint Louis Marie de Montfort. May he rest in peace. Amen. I'll invite our prayer of the faithful readers, numerous, to come forward and to pray the intercessions in honour of this great man and for the repose of his soul. And you may stand. Coming before our Heavenly Father, we place our prayers for the living and the dead, for the consolation of those who mourn and the repose of those who have gone before us. The response, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In baptism, grant or receive the light and grace of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Our brother Louis was nourished at the table of our Saviour. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Many people suffer from sickness, loneliness, and bereavement. On this day of requiem, may we pray and find comfort and healing, particularly our cousin Claire and baby Killian. Lord, in your mercy. Our family and friends seek comfort and consolation, heal our pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the grace of a happy death. May we remain true to the faith for the rest of our days. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for Granda and all our relatives and friends who have gone before us in faith, particularly his wife, Rashing, son, George, sons-in-law, Danny and Sean, and brothers and sisters. May we be reunited in the glory of God's kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We make it with great confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the offertory, I invite you to be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look favourably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant Louis may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even though by our own fault we perish, by your compassion and your grace, when seized by death according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back into life. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel for the consecration. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrated the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, the Donal our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Louis, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Louis Marie de Montfort, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's commandment, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but 
Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Receiving Holy Communion, I ask you to space yourselves according to the markers on the sanctuary step. Thank you.
Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled into thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided by thee. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee. O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee I come. Before thee I stand, the sinful and the sorrowful. Do not, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Our Lady of Knock. Saint Patrick, Saint Joseph, Saint Aloysius, Saint Louis Marie de Montfort. Oremus, Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother. Patrick Joseph Aloysius may come to the eternal table of Christ who lives and reigns for ever and ever. I thank you for coming to Requiem Mass this morning and for all of you who prepared the Mass took part in it and for your hospitality and courtesy during the wake. In the midst of your sadness, you were as chivalrous as the good man who we bury today always was. I pay tribute also to his carers and I see uh, 
two or three, if not more, of the carers here. Thank you for looking after Louis with such dignity all the years that you were, were with him. I know he was a model patient and that you were dignified carers for him. Let us stand for the prayers of commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Louis. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend the soul of our brother Louis, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our brother Louis forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother Louis to his place of rest.
I follow what you mentioned to the um, congregation refreshments back at the Melon Country. Um, what do I think of that? I see. Rations of the melon. Our brother Louis has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture, our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. O God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of our brother Louis, deliver his soul from every bond of sin, that he may rejoice in you with your saints for ever and ever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Louis from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace, and raise up his body on the last day. Dear friends, in reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Louis and dry the tears of those who weep. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Louis. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery. May their suffering be lessened. May their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them and may they rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. 
with longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Lady of Mercy, pray for us. Our Lady Comforter of the Afflicted, Saint Patrick, Saint Joseph, Saint Aloysius, Saint Louis Marie de Montfort, eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There'll be refreshments in the Mellon Country Inn, three miles up the road on the way to Oma, for anyone who'd like to come, courtesy of the Orr family. The Mellon Country Inn refreshments. Thank you. Bye. 